Uh, we're now going to uh, get a talk from Canada. So uh, we've got um, Ma um, Mahaldi um, from Queen's University. He's going to talk about um, secure, efficient, federated learning with autoencoder compression. So um, they just start working. So um, that's great. Um, um, the floor is yours. Yeah. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. I'm perfect. Thank you so much. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Matthew Beitolahi. Uh, I'm a master's student at the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at the Queen's University. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here. I'm very excited to share my presentation in five minutes. Um, today, I'm going to present our paper titled Flag Federated Learning with Autoencoder Compression and Convergence Guarantee. Um, as you know, federal learning or FL was proposed to address the privacy concerns in distributed machine learning. In this approach, an FL system optimizes a global machine learning model by repeating the following process. Each user device performs local computing with this data to minimize the global model. Then they send their local updated model to FL coordinator for aggregation. The FL coordinator aggregates the received local model and produces an improved global model. And the coordinator then sends back the new uh, global updated model to the user devices. And user devices use this new global model as the new uh, model. This step creates one global round, and global rounds are iterated until a desirable accuracy is reached. High communication cost is one of the main concerns of real-world implementation of FL, especially in resource-constrained user devices. The reason is that each, in each global round of FL, user devices are required to upload their updated local model to the server, and the size of the updated model can be extremely large. For example, VGG Net architecture has approximately 4,200 megabits of uh, data. On the other hand, users' devices have limited communication resources. For example, the maximum LTE operating rate is uh, 75 megabits per second in ideal laboratory setting. Therefore, it would take around a minute to upload local models in each iteration. Therefore, communication is currently a fundamental bottleneck in NFL, which restricts model complexity and also user participation. To reduce the communication cost of FL, researchers have utilized classic prefix compression techniques, such as sparsification, reducing the frequency of transmission, quantization, or model compression, in which techniques such as random projection, fed aft, sinus GD, or knowledge installation is utilized. However, the problem with these techniques is that they are prefix and non-adaptive, and they do not take advantage of the unique characteristics of FL, such as its iterative error correcting nature, or FL's redundant information across its user devices, model parameters, or FL iterations. Our goal in our paper was to introduce a new federal learning compression framework. To utilize the redundant information across an FL system and compress the size of updated models dynamically for uplink transmission, we propose a novel federal learning with autoencoded compression or FLAG approach that utilize an autoencoder to compress and encode updated local models for uplink transmission. During the training state, FLAC trains the autoencoder at the server using the updated local models of the server. Then in the compression state, FLAC sends the autoencoder to user devices to utilize this encoder part and compress the local models for the next iteration. And the server utilizes the decoder part of the autoencoder to decode compressed users' updated local models and calculate the global model. To guarantee the convergence of FL, FLAG dynamically switches between the training state and compression state to adjust its autoencoder error based on the to error tolerance of the FL system. To summarize our contributions, we propose FLAG as a novel compression approach that utilizes the redundant correlated information across FL user devices, model parameters, and iteration of a FL system to compress the size of the updated local models for uplink transmission. We theoretically prove that FLAG converges for a FL system with strongly convex ML models and non id data distribution. Finally, we provide experimental results over three data sets with different network architecture to show the effectiveness of FLAG. In our simulation results, 
flag can achieve compression rates ranging from 83 times to 875 times while staying near 7% of the accuracy of the non-compressed models. You can access our work on GitHub where we use Fiverr for this project and we would love to hear your comments. In this project, we just scratched the surface and there are a lot of things to explore and improve. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions, I will be more than happy to answer. Thanks for the talk, that was great.